All right, guys, we got five new stories in five minutes. Here we go. Timer is on. Number one. Um, Women's Wear Daily recently reported that a report came out from Clark McDowell, which is a branding and strategic firm out of New York City, um, that there is a new report on the culture scape. And three new interesting points that are important for you guys to hear about. Number one, we've got this concept of owning your identity. And this is something that we've seen a lot coming through with the Me Too movement, also coming through on the product side. So we're looking at things like customization of foundation. We're looking at things like assessing how dry your skin is and buying customized vitamins, customized skincare, um, customized cosmetics. So obviously owning your identity from a product standpoint is going to be super big as we look into brands that are launching and doing well into 2018. The second point is looking for brands who are starting to embrace seeking their own um, normalcy. So we're starting to think about consumers who are looking for more interaction brands that are experiential, that are providing in real life things, and also kind of a return to this fundamental notion of meditation and the idea of creating a brand that is going to connect and bring people together. Now, the third thing that was interesting coming out of the culture scape was the value of the future. And what's interesting about this is they were talking about owning time and how interesting and important it is for consumers to think about owning time and buying back time for the future. Now, this is interesting because it ties into a second article um, that we were reading this morning on, on uh, Racked, and that had to do with dry cleaning. And what's interesting, guys, is the dry cleaning industry has obviously been on the decline for the last seven years. It went from a $11 billion market to a $9 billion market in about you know seven years time. So what we're finding now is that in order to recapture that, a lot of dry cleaning businesses are starting to open up and to wash and fold. They're starting to help millennials see the future of what is actually happening um, with their time and offering services to help them buy back their time. Super interesting concept. Third article, we were just reading on Facebook how they were introducing a few new technologies to help you with your advertising a little bit better. Um, the first thing is taking a look at offline conversions and really driving sales back to in-store. Michael Kors implemented this new offline conversion targeting, saw an 11% increase in their in-store sales, which is incredible. The second aspect of this that is doing really well is their collection ads that are now being translated into personalized canvases. Now, what's interesting about that? Well, it basically allows you to take your print catalogs, translate them into really beautiful mobile online online versions and allows you to really target a customer based on their behavior and interest, um, but really providing them much more beautiful and engaging ads that are dynamic. Now, the last thing that Facebook announced was something called a dynamic ad that they're using to cater um, to customers earlier in the shopping journey. So what does that mean? That means that you're now able through using dynamic advertising to cater to your shoppers before they even know what it is that they're looking for. This allows you to better segment them and to get them into the customer journey way earlier than you used to be able to, meaning they're not just recent shoppers, but they might be someone who's even thinking about potentially shopping um, in your product category or brand. Okay, last two articles. Um, on CNBC, we saw a recent announcement from Google. Google is now starting to partner up with Target, Walmart, Ulta, and some other retailers. And what they're starting to do is integrate a whole new type of online advertising, which is no longer just doing PPC, so paid per click with these guys, but now that they're starting to do is take a look at um, taking a percentage of the sales by allowing these brands to integrate with their paid per click, allowing them to do um, Google Assist. So now they're advertising on mobile phones, voice, um, and then also on Google Express. And the whole idea here is to be able to capture this customer and be able to service and dial back into their purchasing habit on Google search and take them back through the journey on selling them products throughout the various Google networks and platforms. This is going to be a huge revenue driver for Google. It's also going to put them hugely competitive into the Amazon marketplace. All right, last article, guys. Um, this has to do with the changes in Instagram algorithms. New York Times just recently reported the Instagram algorithms are going to be kind of moving back to almost pre-2016, meaning it's not just going to be based on what content they think you're going to like, but it's starting to be a little bit more based on chronological. Um, it's also going to be a little bit more based on comments and not just likes. So driving user engagement and getting your customers to really like those products 
and getting them to comment on your post, guys, is going to be super important. All right, guys, five articles, five minutes. I did it. Catch you later. Bye.